Hello gold stackers, gold and silver stackers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video I'm going to be talking about um, um, five things that are useful for newer gold stackers to know. Um, these are things that are commonly known by stackers that have been stacking for a while, a few, at least a year. But anyway, so let's get started. The first thing is that Gold comes in different levels of purity, so you have 24 carat, 22 carat, uh, 12 carat, everything between 1 carat and 24 carat. So what does that all mean anyway? So 24 carat is a measure of purity. 24 carat means it's 100% pure, whereas 22 carat means it's 91.6% pure. Or in other words, 20, 22 parts out of 24 parts are pure gold. Whereas uh, 12 carat gold is um, would be 50% uh, go uh, pure gold, and so on. Um, so for example, this coin, this gold coin would be uh, 24 carat because it's is pure gold. Whereas a coin like a um, like this one, I think this one is. Uh, slightly less than 22 carat. I think it's like 20, 21.5 carat or something like that. Well, it's 37.5 grams. So that is how much pure gold is in there. That's, that's slightly more than an ounce of gold. An, an ounce, a troy ounce of gold is 31.1 grams, but this is 37.5 grams. So an extra um, 7.4 grams, no, 6.4 grams more. So, um, it's good to know that there are different purities of gold. I think the sovereigns, I don't have a sovereign anymore. Last week I sold my sovereign. Uh, no, two, um, yeah, last week. You might want you might want to look up my uh, previous videos where I sold my um, gold sovereign and my gold bar. Um, but I think a sovereign is 22 carat gold. So, which means that it's 91.6% pure gold. But I think... Personally, I prefer to have a mix of both, pure pure gold and um, and uh, uh, less pure gold because I think that the gold that is less pure is stronger when it just, when when it comes to picking it up. So it's more durable, it's less likely to get scratches. So you can actually f pick it up without worrying about scratching it. Whereas this twenty four carat coin is more likely to get scratches. That's why I keep it more in the case. I can take this one out out more. This is a um, Mexican 50 pesos gold coin is worth at least 2,000 pounds anyway. So that's the first tip. The second tip is many countries produce their own gold bullion coins. I haven't got many many types. I've already got um I've already got a Mexican coin and a uh, and a British coin, but there's many different types of gold coins from different countries. Same with silver, but here we have the Britannia, which is from the UK. Currently, we were on the king, um, the king effigy, and I think in the U.S. they have two. They also have two coins. They have uh, the American gold eagle and a uh, buffalo. And in the U.K., we also have sovereigns and and Britannia's. I forgot to mention sovereign. Um, in Canada, they have the maple leaf, um, the gold maple leaf coin. That's twenty-four carat. Um, the American gold buffalo I think is 24 carat and the American eagle is 22 carat but um, one day I'm going to get my hands on one of them I think I want to get a buffalo maybe so um, also you can get crew grounds from South Africa they're one of the first um, most popular gold bullion coins they were the, they're the, they were the original bullion coins crew grounds from China, you have the panda coins. From um, Australia, you have the kangaroo uh, gold coins. From Austria, you have the uh, Austrian Philharmonic coin. And from Mexico, you have coins like this, the Mexican 50 pesos. This is quite an older, older one, but um, they do have newer ones that are one ounce. But I don't think they're 24 carat. They might be, but I'm not sure. But um, So... There's many countries that have different types of, um, that have their own type of gold. So the third tip is that if you're living in the UK, 
you can get you can buy gold without VAT and capital gains uh, tax. So when it comes to selling gold, if you've made a profit on your gold, you don't have to pay tax in the UK because it's capital gains tax exempt. Same with VAT. The VAT is um is not added onto this. Normally the VAT is twenty percent. So for like with silver, um, I've got some. I've got silver coin here. With silver, we have to pay um. 20% VAT, which which brings up the premium. Our American media there have um, uh, uh, Austrian film on it. I have a uh, Britannia here. Okay, so I have a few coins. So I've got the um, Britannia silver coin, one ounce. And I've got an Austrian Philharmonic. They they have a gold version of this one too. This is from Austria. And um, this is the American eagle, uh, silver eagle. The, the they had a gold version of this as well. Hopefully, want to get my hands on it. But anyway, um, so yeah, so gold in the UK is capital gains tax exempt as well as VAT exempt. Um, so the fourth tip would be that there are, there's plenty of YouTube channels to follow. If you're new to stacking, it's it's useful to have a mix of channels to follow because each one offers their own unique tips. Um, I'll link them in the description. Um, a few of them because there's there's quite a lot of them. I'll link the main the small ones. Um, so the fifth and final tip is that there are 2.5 billion ounces of gold on earth according to um, SD billion um, so obviously there's 8 billion people that's that was a that's a known fact now um, there's 8 billion people on earth and there's only 2.5 billion ounces which means there's not enough for each person to have an ounce which means by owning three ounces, I'm, I'm way ahead of everyone else because even if you own one ounce, you're way ahead of everyone else because there's, it's not possible for every person to own an ounce based on current um, ab above ground gold reserves. Of course, there's more gold in the ground, but that's going to take years to um, get out of the ground. Um, but yeah, so fraction fractionally, um, if we were going to calculate that fractionally, that's... um. Uh, 2.5 billion divided by 8 billion which gives you 0.31 so 0.31 ounces or basically slightly more than a quarter ounce there's only enough gold for every for everyone to have a quarter ounce of gold on earth so if you own if you own a an ounce then you're way ahead of everyone else even if you own two two quarter ounces or or half an ounce you're way ahead um I think it's slightly different silver, but anyway guys, um, thanks for watching, please hit the like button and the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.